So first I gave you a problem as a homework. Uh, I hope you solve this problem. So I gave you this problem because uh, uh, we we are going to uh, discuss a technique using which we are going to solve this type of problems. So we have a state of stress here, a given a state of stress in 2D and I wanted you to uh, <coughs> I wanted you to calculate the uh, stress tensor for a different orientation of the coordinate. For that what we did was that for the given coordinate we draw the uh, we draw a small element on which uh, uh, stress acts and then we will we will cut this element with an angle by which we are trying to rotate the coordinate and uh, on that plane obviously we will have a normal stress and a tangential stress. And now this part being in equilibrium we will solve the equilibrium equations. So we have two unknowns here sigma and tau net force in y direction, net force in x direction or net force in sigma direction is equal to 0, net force in tau direction will also be 0. Using those equations we can find out sigma and tau. That is something I asked you to do in the previous class. Now for a general, we, uh, after that we derived a general equation for uh, stress transformation for a very general case. Uh, we try to rotate the uh, coordinate system by an angle theta and we figured out that using equilibrium equations uh, we can calculate uh, <coughs> normal stress and shear stress using these equations sigma x dash uh, using this equation and sigma y dash using this equation. If you compare these e two equations you can see that uh, uh, first term is uh, common and after that you have the terms with negative sign here the same terms with negative sign and if you add up these normal stresses uh, we will see that they are the same for all coordinates. Then we try to find out the coordinate orientation for which we have the maximum value of uh, sigma uh, the normal stress and shear stress. For that we found out the derivative of sigma is uh, sigma x and sigma y with respect to theta to find out the value of theta for which uh, we have the maximum or minimum value of sigma x. Those were also calculated. Now let us talk about an idea called uh, Mohr circle. This is basically an extension of this idea. So what we are going to do here is that uh, the equations we have used here the equations are uh, here we need to find out the normal stresses and shear stresses at the 
rotated coordinate system using equations and we will now we will try to do the same thing using uh, a graphical representation of the stress tensor and uh, such a graphical representation of the stress tensor is called uh, a Mohr circle right so we will uh, use a circle to represent it but how is that possible let's see how is that possible how can we use a circle to represent the state of stress So the idea here is that uh, so I'll just write down the previous equation first uh, to start with. So we know that uh, sigma x dash is equal to. sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta plus tau x y sin 2 theta and this is the case when we uh, rotate the coordinate system x y system and we have the x dash y dash system you rotate the coordinate system by an angle theta and the shear stress equation was found to be minus of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta this is something we have uh, derived in the previous class now here what we will do is that we will we will take this uh, term to the left So that we will get uh, sigma x sigma x dash is e, sigma x dash minus sigma x plus sigma y by two equal to sigma x minus sigma y by two cos two theta plus tau x y sine two theta. Now what we do is that, uh, let's say this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2. We will take square of equation number 1 and square of equation number 2 and then add them up. So that means, uh, okay, in any order, so let me, let's say I am taking this one first. So the square will be sigma x sigma x dash minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2 x dash y dash square is equal to now on the right side if we look at it carefully okay should I write down the entire equation 
So this will be a little okay. On on the right hand side you have to square this part and this part. So I'll try to basically solve it here itself. So the square of uh, this part will be a plus b whole square will be equal to uh, the first term square plus. So if you when you take the square, the negative sign will be gone. Sigma x minus sigma y by two. sin square 2 theta plus tau square xy cos square 2 theta plus 2ab ne negative sign is here 2ab means uh, a is this part uh, <coughs> sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta tau x y cos 2 theta similarly for this part we have uh, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square cos square 2 theta plus tau xy square uh, sin square 2 theta now plus 2ab 2ab means uh, 2 multiplied by sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta tau xy sin 2 theta. Now you can see that uh, this term will get cancelled out, the third term for both the uh, so here you have uh, minus 2 sigma x minus sigma y by 2 uh, cos 2 theta tau x y sin 2 theta. It's the same here. 2 sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta tau x y sin 2 theta. Sin and cos are switched. So these two, get, uh, these two terms will get cancelled out. And what remains? what remains for us then you have a uh, this term and this term these two terms uh, if I take uh, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square as common term you will have on the right side what if I take this as a common term sigma x minus sigma y whole square is the common term here similarly for this uh, second part also we can take uh, tau xy square out which is a uh, common term again you will have cos square 2 theta plus sin square 2 theta. Now what is uh, sin square 2 theta plus cos square 2 theta? That's nothing but 1. Right, this is just 1. So you get uh, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 
whole square plus 2x 2xy whole square now what what does this mean now let's take a new page and uh, write the equation once again simply write minus zero so minus zero does not make any difference right on the right right hand side we obtained sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square now this equation this is a format that you are very familiar with actually here the unknowns here are sigma x dash and tau x dash y dash all the other terms are known terms or given terms this is the stress uh, components for the new rotated coordinate system so this is actually in the format uh, of an equation this is basically equation of a circle sigma x dash okay so what is the equation of a circle So for a circle, for a circle with uh, center hk, coordinate hk in 2D, this will be the equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square where r is the r is the radius of the circle. So you can see that uh, this equation is quite similar to that. So here the coordinates will be uh, h will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 k will be equal to 0 and r will be equal to square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus O x y whole square. Now let's try to draw this uh, circle uh, which this equation represents and uh, see how it looks like. In the equation, uh, the unknowns will be given as the axis, x-axis and y-axis. The x-axis we will plot uh, sigma x dash and on the y-axis we will plot tau x dash y dash. Those are the unknowns, x and y here. Radius of the circle, uh, we know what it is and the k is uh, 0 what is k? k is y coordinate is 0 so the circle is uh, on the center of the circle is on the x axis that's an another information we have so this will basically look like
h uh, x sigma x plus sigma y by 2 let's say it's here and k is 0 y coordinate is 0 and we draw a circle So, center of the circle is HK. Uh, center of the circle is HK and the radius is... Uh, this one sigma x minus sigma y 2 whole square plus tau x y uh, tau x y whole square so that actually means uh, what does that actually imply uh, how do we find out the unknowns from the given uh, known values for using more stress uh, more circle How do we do that? So I think it, it's a uh, at least uh, for the time being it's at least obvious to you uh, that uh, we will get a circle from the equation and the unknowns uh, the axis coordinates will give you tau extension uh, sigma x dash and tau x dash y dash. Uh, now, uh, to get a better idea, first I'll explain uh, step by step how we actually find out the unknowns from sigma x and sigma y. Uh, and then we will compare the uh, resultant system and equation with the uh, given equation and we will see that what we are doing is correct so we will not go in this order like from equation to system we will first draw the system and I will explain uh, how we uh, find out uh, the new uh, the state of stress at the coordinate uh, rotated coordinate system and then we will compare it with the equation Okay, how do I draw a circle? will take this uh, circle from the <coughs> textbook
Now let's say <coughs> uh, this is our uh, coordinate, first coordinate system x and y and we have the uh, stress of sigma x and sigma y on it and the rotated coordinate system is x dash y dash. On that uh, we have the unknown uh, stress components which we want to calculate. So first system sigma x sigma y and tau x y. The rotated coordinate system on which you have uh, normal stresses as sigma x dash sigma y dash and tau x dash y dash. So what we do here is that <coughs> we will draw uh, the circle on the coordinate system and with a little uh, twist here we are, we are actually uh, drawing the positive toe downwards. So on the y axis we have a shear stress and that shear stress is drawn positive downwards and negative upwards. Why do we do this? We do this because uh, uh, when we actually uh, implement our technique we will see that the tau x dash y dash we obtain by rotating is the negative value of the actual value. Uh, so we will we will uh, we need so we need to either change this equation put a negative sign here or uh, so this is a derived equation. Uh, so it is not a good idea to change it right. So, so what we will do is that we will uh, put we will plot positive tau downwards and negative tau upwards. And now let us say uh, the diameter of the a diagonal of the uh, circle the diameter BC AC represents the given coordinate system and uh, B dash C A dash C represents the ro rotated coordinate system and the given coordinate system the stress components are obtained by calculating corresponding x and y coordinates of the end of the uh, diameters plot here. For this uh, BC AC line uh, choose AC the point AC sigma x uh, x component of it will be taken as sigma x and y component will be taken as uh, shear stress tau x y. And we will see that uh, the other end of the line the y component of the other end of the line will be uh, same in magnitude and x component will be sigma y. So that, that is something we, you are going to find out very soon. This is this is nothing but our the equation we have just derived. This is a graphical representation of it. Uh, you will see that very soon. Now the same is true for the b dash a dash line. So this is our rotated system. So if uh, if we are rotating the coordinate by theta angle theta we, we we will we have to rotate this line by an angle 2 theta and the new uh, diameter drawn will represent the rotated coordinate system. So for that uh, x coordinate of a a dash which was in the beginning we got it rotated by uh, we got it by rotating the line by an angle 2 theta. The x coordinate of it is uh, uh, nothing but uh, sigma x dash and the y coordinate will be taken as uh, shear stress which is tau, tau dash 
तो एक्स्ट्रा शो डैश एंड इफ यू टेक द अदर एंड ऑफ द लाइन अगेन एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट विल बी टेकन एज सिग्मा वाई डैश एंड नव द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ हाउ डज दिस मेक सेंस I basically told you the procedure to find out unknown uh, stress values for the rotated coordinate system, but how does it work and why does it work? That's the question we need to answer. So first of all, at least we know that we have drawn the circle using the equation because we uh, obtained the equation of a circle from the derived equation. Then we know that the center of the Uh, circle is sigma x plus sigma y by two uh, zero, and uh, radius is this one. So this is something you can find it here. So if this is sigma x and uh, yeah, this is sigma x and this is sigma y dash. Now for the first, we will consider the uh, given system. So that is represented by uh, B. For that you have uh, x coordinates of either ends as sigma x and sigma y. So obviously center will be sigma x plus sigma y by two. See that is the center of the equation of the circle sigma x plus sigma y by two. Same thing we will get here. And for the rotated system also sigma x plus sigma y by two uh, sigma x dash plus sigma y dash by two will again be the center of the circle. so that's again uh, you know compare on with this part so that is uh, true for uh, any diameter problem uh, whichever theta you take you will always get the center as sum of this uh, uh normal stresses so that that makes sense Now y coordinate is zero. That is also true here, which you, which you already know. Now let's go to the radius part. So the radius uh, for any system, if uh, if this is let's consider this uh, triangle here. Okay, I'm drawing this triangle here. y coordinate is to x dash y dash right x coordinate will be this whole line will be sigma x plus sigma y by 2 uh, the center is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 now what will be this length this length will be sigma x minus sigma y that will be the length of the line Divided by two will be the length of this line. So sigma x minus sigma y sigma x minus sigma y by two will be the Uh, length of that line. Now this radius uh, is here as our uh, third side of the right triangle. So what will be this length using uh, Pythagoras theorem? That is sigma x minus sigma y by two whole square plus tau x y square. Now let's compare it to this term. Same thing. Okay, close the square root. Same thing. Sigma x minus sigma y by two whole square plus tau x by square. So that is true for uh, any given uh, diagonal of the circle. Whatever angle you rotate, you will always get that system here. If you consider uh, b dash y dash also, again sigma x plus sigma x minus sigma y by two will be this uh, line. 
and tau xy will be this line and radius will be Now one question here is uh, <clears throat> So now you have already seen that uh, it makes sense it makes sense to draw the circle and how does the equation actually uh, why is the equation and how is the equation valid for this uh, system if we rotate the diagonal by an angle 2 theta how does that actually work here So for that uh, what we do is that, so when we <coughs> rotate the system, this system, this triangle is, uh, this, this part gets rotated here and let's say uh, how we can calculate uh, these two components by rotating this triangle. Okay, th I'll draw the new triangle here. New triangle means triangle uh, that uh, that is made with the new rotated coordinate system. So this will be sigma x dash. Uh, this will be tau x dash y dash and this will be sigma x dash minus sigma y dash by 2. Now if we rotate this circle by <coughs> by an angle 2 theta take this triangle and about the center we will rotate this uh, triangle and let us draw it <coughs> here itself and see how the equation fits. So when we rotate this uh, <coughs> this circle by 90 degree, we, it, it will come basically here. I don't know how much you understand this part. This circle, uh, so, sorry, this triangle is rotated by an angle 2 theta. It was here in the beginning and we rotated it uh, by in anti-clockwise in 2 theta direction and this is the new position of the triangle. And this triangle is this triangle which represents the new rotated coordinate system. Now this side and we know that uh, th this is what is this? 
this was sigma x minus sigma y by 2 right remember that is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 that is getting rotated and it uh, reaches here and this is tau x y And now we need to get this part and this part using uh, our old triangle. And this, this, if you consider line by line, this line used to be somewhere else, and it got rotated by an angle two theta. And now you need to find out uh, if you add this part and this part you will get the total length of this line and similarly if you project it onto y direction and if you add not add if you first find out this part and then find out this part and subtract it you will get this side this is uh, i don't know if you are if you are clearly understanding this you need to spend a l m more time on this i'll upload this video on uh, youtube and try to watch this several times especially this part okay so if you do that we will understand sigma x dash this side sigma uh, this point minus center will be this length right that divided by 2 no uh, uh, average div uh, i mean sigma x dash minus center will be this length so sigma x dash minus center center location is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 that will be equal to that is this length this length is nothing but sum of this part and this part this part you can obtain by uh, taking the cos component of sigma x by sigma x minus sigma y by 2 so the cos component of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta right this is getting rot, uh, rotated by 2 theta this used to be here and it got rotated by an angle 2 theta so it will be cos 2 theta so the cos component of this part plus uh, tau xy, tau xy was here and it got rotated by an angle 2 theta. And there and here you will have the sine component, sine component of tau xy. So that will be tau xy sine 2 theta. So this is the equation we had here. This is the equation, same equation. Similarly, tau x dash y dash equation will also be obtained like that. Now here are tau x dash y dash is equal to that is this part this uh, total length minus this length that will be this length which is tau x dash y dash so the total length will be obtained as so this is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 uh, this was cos 2 theta part 
now we have to take the uh, sign part so sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sine 2 theta plus not plus minus right so we have to subtract the smaller length from the bigger length to get this so this uh, minus tau xy uh, earlier we had taken the sine component we now we have to take the cos component which is cos 2 theta now this is the tau x x dash y dash now on the one problem here is that uh, if you compare this equation with this equation you will see that there is a difference with a negative sign this is minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau x y cos 2 theta here this is the uh, negative of that term and that is the reason why we take negative tau in the y direction here now you understand the logic behind taking positive tau, positive tau downwards and negative tau upwards so if we take negative tau upwards we will we have to put the negative sign here right so this is these are the this is the given derived equation from the uh, which you obtain from the graphical representation of the uh, <coughs> state of stress and stress components you obtain by uh, rotating the coordinate system. So now you can solve uh, the problem I gave you in the last class you see uh, three methods Okay, network is lost here I think uh, I don't know at what point network was lost uh, so I will upload the video and uh, if you have missed some part uh, please watch it on the YouTube so the problem I gave you in the first class this problem now you can solve it using three methods first uh, using directly use equilibrium equations here and find out and then use the derived equation and find out sigma and tau the third method is to draw more circle and find graphically the value of uh, sigma and tau so i want you to uh, calculate this using these three methods So I will stop the class here because uh, I have lost the connection and I am talking to myself right now. I will stop the class and I uh, will... Okay.